Image is back, and number 20, Iris, is uh, Iris. Um, sometimes I pronounce it English. <laughs> so yes, yeah, that's confusing me, the settings on the screen. Um, and that's the first referee call for Strangling against Barcelona for Strangling. Free throw for Fierce Firenze in blue. Please change the names on the live stream. Really nicely executed free throw here. Two players accompanying each other, positioning their third one, trying to come from the open side of the Barcelona basket. Um, now we have a recovering of the ball by Giovanna, number 83 of Barcelona, and another referee call. Holding without the ball, that's a ah, free throw settings. for Barcelona um, against Firenze. Elisenda receives the ball, tries to check forward, is accompanied. Please change, yeah, thank you. Um, they're now trying to play nicely around the basket here. Number 23 is getting in there, um, Firenze but tackled away. The yeah, ball. the, the, the defense player of Firenze really nicely recovered the ball, yeah. taking it out to the other side. And we see here lying uh, down under again uh, some players <laughs> for uh, receiving the ball in case it drops. But you see, despite oh. this crumb, now Barcelona recovered the ball. Firenze stayed in defense position. The goalie was there all the time. I think they know each other quite well of, of playing against each other in um, in the uh, Three Nations League. So I think they know what they can expect from each other. So a well-experienced team, which is something when you just are in a scramble, don't see much. You need to be aware and you just need to trust that your team member is there without sometimes seeing them. Then you pass. And it, it's great yes. when your team member is there as is expected. You cannot always see because it's too scrumbly. That's yes. the position playing part making the difference sometimes. But it's not always like, it depends no. on the situation. And it's really changing quickly. So it's not true for every situation. Yes. So they're really trying to get in there. We have heavily attacking of Barcelona here putting pressure onto the Firenze basket. Um, we see here the forward number 21 coming in, um, but the defense of Firenze is working really good, doing a nice job here um, to get away yeah. the ball, but we now again in the scrum at the surface coming down here by one of the Barcelona players. It's really interesting to see, so you see here Firenze uh, defending for a long time, but they're doing an awesome job here. The defender... Um, as quick as the yes. attack is coming, the defense is there, going down, moving quickly. The same, yeah, but that's, need to, that's a necessity it has. You need, you need to be the same speed. Yes. Otherwise, it would be the oh, score. There's number 55... Alicia from Barcelona, she and has really, that's a chance, but she's tackled away by the defense. Yeah. And that's really nice to see here that Firenze is doing the effort that um, these positions are trying to catch away the balls. Um, now. No scoring yet, so we have a slightly robbed... Wow. That was, that was really close, so almost one of the Barcelona closed. players could um, steal the basket, but one of... The Firenze players nicely recovered the ball, putting it out to the scrum at the surface. But now there's missing one um, slightly more in the knees and some Barcelona is, I guess, someone pushing to towards start. the basket. So the others can pass down and then it's going on. So five and a half minutes over from this first half of game 52 between Firenze and Barcelona females game. Playing for position, as you said... 7th and 8th. Yep. And that's a call from the referee. Free throw for Firenze. So maybe with this holding without the ball, and maybe this free throw um, really um, can result in a chance 
to establish a setup on attack really nicely from Firenze after their long period of defending there. Yeah, what we sure can expect is a really interesting next situation. So everyone outside there yeah. keep watching. So this will be really interesting. And for everyone doing underwater rugby, you can learn a lot when you just watch, see where is who, when, why. Yes. <laughs> why are you there? Why you're not somewhere as ex as expected. And that's... Yes. Oh, that was a nice pass over yeah. the back from Iris, um, trying here, coming over the cross side of the corner. And they're lying nicely around the basket, but the defense is really strong here from Firenze. Now we have number 17 coming in here, despite what's on yeah. here. Defense, defense. successful. Oh, that was, that was close call. That was really strong. They you really think know close? Because defense yes. already had their hands on the ball. Yes. So, so then it, we see it decides which person is stronger. And this was... So, still number 17 down here. When Firenze now having the ball and let it go, keep their time to prepare the next wave. And that yes. was to was seen now, before. Now defense is missing. Let's see if this resolves in the goal. But there came the forward from, from above, tackled away the um, yeah. attack. And stopped the attack. Now yes. it's again. Is Firenze a little bit losing concentration? That's the referee call for... It's not clear, we didn't see the signal. But it looks like a free throw for Barcelona. We see here number 17, Karina Teixeira, stealing the basket. Two or three more trying to steal the basket, but... There was something... More going Incorrect. on here. Yeah. Starting too fast. They even managed to change here timeout. timeout. timeout will mean they will be recovering. Um, they Coming will be down. Yes. Re remember the strategy which was planned. So yes. maybe ah that that was what we thought we should do. Yes. And the, you need sometimes this moment for remember come coming down and putting into your mind what the aim is and then you can much more better concentrate and it was looking like uh, Firenze a little bit losing concentration because the defense was not there when they yes. needed it so that's a good call from Firenze so they can set up the defense right now when Barcelona is executing the free throw let's see um, when the first goal will come in here maybe Fiorenza now in this after this short break will manage to and we're running time. Could you please change the camera to the and that's yep. the executing of the free throw. Ah, there's a two two ti two minute time penalty for Fiorenza, so they're undermanned or underwomaned <laughs> by one by one player here. Undermembered. Undermembered. That's a good yeah. one. Yeah. So yeah. defense is in place. Yes. That needs to work, but three but in an now attack. Now it's three, and that's oh, that was a close one, but it's still there. It's near, but Barcelona could hold the ball position. There's missing the end. The ha, ah, there was no, there was no clear vision of one of the Barcelona players because she had her teammate right behind her, but didn't see her. So right now we're establishing a wave around the tags. We have number seventeen Karina. again, again here three. now the. Number six. Keep keeping the pressure high yes. and going, and keep they keep going, keep and going, and they're down. Yes, not going upward. This is the chance. Not yet, but That's it's. I think just a question of few number seconds six and number because the pressure here, is high. But they managed to it change it. Like. My goodness, uh, that's a really Where tense was game. They really want to score. And we see Firenze, that's what I said before. That, that was a stolen basket, but Barcelona player tackled away. So we see really good defense by Firenze playing here in the water with five with uh, under one less. One under person less. This is and even we're much offline. more hard. We're offline. Well, really 
good. Really good, experienced Firenze team. We are offline. Yeah, are we that's online bad. again, persons? Is there another stream? Well, we keep going. <laughs> we just keep going, <laughs> but we are offline. Somebody from Regie hearing us. So we do offline training. We're offline. And Please. Uh, 20 seconds left. It's are sad we to say. Online? We're not online again. We're not, not online. Eight no. seconds, seven seconds. Discussion and it's half time. In case we are live again, um, our tablet isn't responding. Um, can you hear us? Are we live again? Um, I'm just coming in a second. I have to deliver something. I think we're live again right now. We're Could live be? again. We do have so uh, half of the half outside of the break. Half of the break is gone. The teams are preparing the second half of the game. Uh, we will see what will happen. Still, yet no one of the team scored. So I think even the pressure will be higher in the second half. The intensity will rise. So I expect. I'm really back, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm really expecting much more situations which are coming to s close to scoring and it yes. will be interesting because it's not clear which team will win. No, it's not clear. We see uh, we, we saw one half time heavily attacking from Barcelona establishing really nice attack waves here but they couldn't get through the really nice setup defense of Firenze. That's also how to five. be one half time under yeah. attack so much long and you're in defense all the time and it's really hard. So we see here a change of Barcelona, number 83, Jova Bautista is going out, but I don't know who's substituting here. We see here also the Barcelonan boys um, <laughs> nicely <laughs> supporting them. The trainer yeah. Camilo Gaetan here entering back in the water. I don't know if... Um, Firenze did any substitutions, but we see that trainer as well, and some of the men's um, supporting them. There will be, they will play later. I don't know. Few seconds again. left. One, two, and go. I think we are still offline, but we just keep Bars, commentating yeah. um, to stay in the flow. To stay in the flow. Yeah, we now we have still. Change change of sides, so we have an attack on the uh, Firenze basket by Barcelona. And there, Barcelona is underwater on the bottom of the pool with four. And that's the goal we were waiting for. And that was the reason why they scored with four team members close at the Firenze's basket. Could you see the number who scored? It was from the close corner. Uh, I so didn't you couldn't see. I saw the Sorry, Barcelona. Playing around, as a yeah. being prepared. I was criticized two times I couldn't see the team player because I know them. Um, but when uh, every team, if doesn't matter how good you know the players, if they attack from the close side, normally you can't see the number. And we don't have... So, Firenze now starting. And what do you think they do? They can change and score as well. Yeah, I and think so. They're trying now um, a little bit more offensive. We had the Barcelona yeah. basket, I think, for the first time in a long time. 
here trying to attack. Um, but you see also a nice established defense from Barcelona. Now you see here the girls trying to get in there. They're nicely and calmly playing out of the closed corner, setting up the take. They're not going in alone there. Um, they're really trying to... Um, so we have from Mayotte the call, we're not online yet, but I think we're not online. There's no video here in the live stream, but we we try to fix it. Uh, we will still have these days some technical problems. We hope to resolve it until the finals, which start at 2.30. Um, yes, we're trying to get back here. I hope soon we will be live again. So, Barcelona attacking and as concentrated as before with four team members, three team members. And you see again, wave. nicely establishing themselves around the basket. You see number five, Alicia. I think she she's really trying to get in here. And now... They they like they're hungry for more goals, right? You see another heavily attacking here, but it was really a nice recovered of the ball close before the hands of the defender or the, the coming from from above and getting the ball. It could be the moment where a counter attack starts, but you need the team members yes. going with you. But there now there's another attack of Barcelona, but they're really trying to get here from the open side. Uh, of the Firenze basket. Now we have a stolen attack position by number 23 of Barcelona, Sylvia. She's trying here to receive the ball, missed it, and is tackled away or stolen away by one <coughs> of the players. Barcelona recovered the ball. They're really putting high pressure and they're quite good in keeping and recovering the ball and then doing the next wave. Here's a chance but successful from the goalie keeping the attack tackling away and all they were all oh, they were a close one there's no defense here but tackled or stolen away or tracked away by one of the <laughs> um, um, players. Yeah, I think we're not live yet. With the full scrum. Um, we just have a look. I'm coming Still back in not a online. So we just keep continuing, there was some referee call, we have like 5 minutes left of the game, I'm sorry, I think we, s we are not still yeah, online from um, Firenze here at the Barcelona basket, trying to get in there to um, score so it's equal stand, empate in Espanol. Um, it would be equal stand. What you can see from the Barcelona's team is that either they are in a wave in an attack or they're defending their own basket. They're like really concentrated playing and it's like clear positioning. It's like a clear yes. defending. It's like a really sorted and concentrated playing from the Barcelona's team. So like, this is definitely looking like a really experienced team. So here is a chance for but passing right through through the Barcelona's lady is like mm, not really So right possible. now a nice back attack from Barcelona back at the she's going Firenze come, waiting basket. for her team members. They're preparing the wave. 
Yes. And here it goes. So that was a nice attack. Uh, yeah, from and successful tackling disturbing the attack at the goal. Barcelona. That's a nice attack by number 77, and, and that's Ines, uh, number 77, scoring here the second goal for Barcelona in the um, last three minutes of the second half of the game. 52. Yes. We are still not online, really. Right. We are doing okay. dry we are exercises. Online again. Online again. When the goal was online, so maybe just our tablet isn't working quite good. It's a timeout for Barcelona. Here. Okay. So I think we're live here um, back, so we just keep talking. So we see here Barcelona um, trying to catch some breath. Some of the male players are talking. Um, 30 seconds left so we live back here we see the chat again so you can uh, ask us something about the game you missed it's a 2 0 lead for Barcelona but Firenze is a good job in defending here that's true yes they are just defending and uh, not just they are defending really well and yes. tackling away but then the next part, in the middle of the field, going forward, bringing, breaking through, and then finally scoring, that's something not really working the same as well as yes. they defend. So now we have, we're back in the game. Um, Firenze trying to break the Barcelona defense here, but they are brought up to the surface in a scrum. Um, and we see the last few minutes we see a lot of scrumming here. It's always they tackle away the ball. Um, it's sad to see that scrumbling, but yes. it's not too bad because it was three, three, four times now in total. So it, there have been games with much more bad yeah. scrumbling. I still, I still think it, want to say it's um, a good game and they are doing a good job, both teams. Yes. And now we're back in attacking the Firenze basket, but Barcelona or Barcelona is establishing a wave attack here, managing to uh, put the goal, uh, the ball around the basket. There was, there's no defender, and they're trying. One of the Barcelona girls is trying to get in there really heavily. Um, we're tracked up a little bit into the middle of the pool, but now they're attacking again. Second wave here. But Firenze defending. So you would vote for another goal for Barcelona, making it to a final outcome of 3 0. You think so? One minute left. And they're just trying but to. They, I think they don't want to go chance. back to defense. So they're just trying to be very. So that's number 17 here. Oh. And she missed, but recovered by number 12, uh, Eli Sender trying here to get in and that's another wave attack so it's like 40 seconds left in this game Barcelona is leading 2-0 against Firenze they played at the Three Nations League where Barcelona I think normally 30 seconds win. left and it's that's left. nicely recovered by the goalie number 21 Wh who's number 20? 21 do you have the team list? from Firenze here it is it's Stephanie, Stephanie Coca. And that's but now we have another counter attack from Carol again here. defend successful from Barcelona recovered they really from. try to do the fault checking because yeah. the goalies and defenders of Firenze are doing um, a great job here amazing, but they are stopped in the midfield by Barcelona players and, and that's end of game, game 52 over. Barcelona wins so um, finally no successful but it. It was a lot. There were a lot of chances in the last few seconds, like s what we've seen, like really raising who adrenaline in the box of the commentators. Like 
Is there a goal? Is there another yes. goal? And then the successful defending from Firenze just avoided it. Great. Right in the last moment, we already saw the ball in, but it wasn't. It was yes. like really. So great. Barcelona um, is coming out of this Champions Cup as uh, with a nicely placed number seven here of ten teams playing. Number um, uh, position number eight is Firenze. Number nine is Helvetia from Switzerland, and number ten is Connecticut Makers. The others uh, has to ha have uh, they test they they will play. And I'm saying goodbye and giving over to Totti. Totti, do you want to join in? So I'm just leaving you two here. Um, goodbye and see you later. So now we are back here, Champions Cup 2019, next match, game 53 of the day, team from the winner of the, from the Czech Republic, Budweis, BFC, Budjevice against Ege University from Izmir. And Ege. as you right can.